Hello there, everyone. I'm a little nervous here. <laughs> Anybody, rem you know what this stick is? No. I think a stick belonged to Moses. You think it belonged to Moses? Yes. Yeah. All the way back, all the way to Moses? I took it from Moses. You know that? No, I didn't do that. I'd like to tell you a story. I don't know if this thing's working. It is. It's working. Good. God loves you. Why does God love you? I don't know, but he does. Um, a long time ago, many years ago, there was a group of people that left a country called Egypt. They left, they finally, God opened the door and let them leave. They were slaves, you know? Imagine being slaves for all your life and never be able to go anywhere you want to go but just go to work, never go anywhere else. Some people, I think, are that way in today's world, and they're not even slaves. But uh, these were people that finally got a chance to get out of Egypt, hundreds of years there. And in their process of going out of Egypt, they had to cross a desert, a really hot desert, by the way. And let me put my stick down. And as they're crossing the desert, and they thought they were free, they were free from being slaves anymore. Never a slave again. That's, that's really, really positive. So as they're crossing, and they're moving along, oh my goodness, I already got there. But you know what happened? A man named Moses. A man named Moses was ahead of them. And he was guiding them away from Egypt. He helped him get out of Egypt. That was a really nice man. God helped him. He didn't do it himself, but God helped him. And as they were crossing the sea, the desert. They came across that sea you just a few minutes ago, and the Egyptians were following them, which they saw. I think it's on my next slide, by the way. No, it's not. You can tell I'm prepared. But the next slide has to show you what happened when Moses raised his hand. But why did Moses raise his hands? Why did Moses take a stick like this that got, oh, yes, why? Oh, yeah, maybe there was something special with that stick. This was a famous stick, you know, like on comics, you know, he just weighed it and the water would go up. No, I think there was a little more to that. I think there was some other power that moved that water. Anybody have any idea what that power was? Let's get up. God. Oh, my goodness, God. God was there all the time. Can you imagine that? He was there, and he was with those children, and he was with Moses, and he was there in the Red Sea, and he was making the Red Sea part. Now, when this sea parted, it opened up wide, really wide, and all those children were able to go down into the water. But when they looked behind, what did they see? They saw all these Egyptians, all of these Egyptians after them. And what are they going to do? They're trying to cross the sea, and these Egyptians are coming? Well, you know what? They rushed. I would, too. You know, they would rush, and they would rush, and they were trying to get across. And as they were getting across, they could look back, and they could see these Egyptians moving down the road, and they were coming fast as they could to get them. But where was God? Where was God? Was God there? I think so. Look how wide that water is. you ever see any ocean part like that? If you did, I'd like to know where it's at. But that's a pretty big part. And here they were, this motion all open, space for those Egyptians. They're going to get those Israelites, and they're going to bring them back to slavery. But I don't think so. Moses was standing there with the people, and those people were saying, Moses, save us, please. And he asked God, and he raised his staff. And guess what? The water came falling up. Oh my goodness, they're going to be saved. They're going to be saved. And the waters are falling and falling and falling. And they see it coming down the road as it's sparkling all the way down. 
I don't know if you can hear me, I took the microphone down. But um, what is the object of this? What was the purpose of me telling you this story? The story was to, God loves us and we should love God. Just like your mommy and daddy, what do they do? Every morning you get up, they, do, they put their arms around you, they give you that hug and a smile and say everything's gonna be good and you smile back and you say, I know, and you go to school. Well, that's what the people were doing. They saw all those Egyptians get flooded into the Red Sea and the Red Sea took them all and they were gone forever and ever and ever. Just like the things around you. When God puts his arms around you, he protects you. He makes you feel good and you know everything is right. So the question we have to ask ourselves is, so what was the conclusion of my children's story? Why did I do it? Why? Because God loves you. God told me that last night. He loves you. And he wants you to know that. But what else was important that I got out of his conversation was your mom, your dad, your grandparents, all your family, your brother, believe it or not, and your sister all love you. Never forget that. Ever. So who is going to be my lucky one's going to say goodbye on the prayer? No rushes on hands. I guess I will say it. Dear Lord, thank you for this short children's story. We pray that you might remind us that you're there all the time with mom and dad and loving us and taking care of us. Amen. Okay. That's it.